Hello guys, welcome to this tutorial. And I'm going to discuss how we go about summit. Five. So they said the unit should be in inches. So make sure you make sure you check that. And then we'll be drawing on two different planes. So you select your first your, your first plane, whichever you, one you want to use. I want to use a front plane. And I'll make it normal too. Then after that I'll go and we'll be drawing two circles. So we have two circles. One circle. And then another smaller one. And give them dimension. So the bigger circle. So that's my dimension. The bigger circle. Dimension is supposed to be one. And a smaller one. Dimension is to be zero. 0.75 so after drawing this this sketch which is our our features then we will put we'll as this sketch to as this sketch and we select another new plane where we draw our, our path so we we'll and select let's see the top plane which goes through the middle to we'll make it normal to so we'll draw our path so we we'll select your line to we'll draw your path lines to give it dimensions So you have that then it's your smart dimension. The dimension is to be a six as in the book. Six. And this is four. Dimension of this one is supposed to be six. So you have this nine slip. Also you are supposed to add some fillet to so these two. Okay, so you add fillets here and you also add fillets here so the end of the, the dimension for our fillets our fillets is supposed to be 1 point 1.5 if the dimension of your fillet is 1.5 and you check so you have this nice little drum like that now we'll go to our sweat features sweat box and this Select that. You select your, your sketch. And then you select your path. And you have this nice little drawing here. Oh, congratulations. You have this drawing. So this is the main part. This is what you then check out that at time. Then you can do your other one. So you can use the zoom tool to zoom this side. Then you select this surface you make it normal also so if you make it normal you get something like this then according to the diagram we have some extruded base where they drew some holes on it so we are going to do that so let's go to sketch and then draw a big circle at the center here okay now let's oh, let's keep let's dimension it to be for me 2.5 so the dimension for it will so 2.5 yeah we'll do another small circle so again it should be of that side yeah that's it and also dimension that one to be the same as the size of the small hole so 0.75 then we'll extrude or space of this new sketch then the extrusion according to the, uh, the question the extrusion, the extrusion is supposed to be 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 inch then have this you have this nice little drawing here you have this then you're supposed to add some extra thing you're supposed to add um fillet and then chamfer so since we are in we are dealing with what a sketch yeah that's a feature we should use what the feet and then the fillet and chamfer are the hot feature to bar. So we go here, we select our fillet. Then here, they say we should give a fillet of what? Radius 0 0.1. So fillet, yours, radius already 0 0.1. So you just mark. Then we'll go back again and go and select the chamfer. So they say we should give chamfer to this one. The chamfer to be. Okay, the chamfer is 0 0.05 and it's what 45 degrees. So 0 0.0545 degrees then you select why and have that also neatly drawn so 
we're almost getting to the end we have this and so let's select the surface here and then we'll draw our holes on it so when you select the surface go to what the whole wizard your whole wizard and then select so that that the, the one that's given in the question is what that's the v which is what the counter sign so we'll select it and then they said you should keep the this and then you should use what 82 instead of handbag the other time you use handbag so this one should use what 82 and then you give your own customized sizing so according to the question the sizing for the small hole should be what 0 0.19 inch and the bigger one should be 0 0.36 so we give that and this is supposed to be 82 degrees and then true or then go to yeah we're also supposed to do one more thing before we come here so we're supposed to draw uh, a circle so let's let's draw a circle on this surface so we'll go through the middle point and draw a circle yeah then make it a construction line okay that's fine now let's let's give the dimension to the circle this circle Want to make it so that it's on the middle line so if you do that you get um seven one point seven five one point so one point seven seven five yeah. one point seven five so that's that's your goal. and before you go to your goal, you Yeah.